Have you ever felt a chill crawl up your spine when you see a statue, mannequin, or robot that looks a bit too human? Welcome to the mysterious realm of automatonophobia, a specific phobia that triggers an intense fear in individuals when they encounter objects that falsely represent sentient beings. It's an unusual fear, I know, but isn't it fascinating how our minds can perceive something so inanimate as a threat? Now let's get a bit more specific. Automatonophobia isn't just about fear of any non-living object, it's about those objects that bear an uncanny resemblance to us, to humans. So we're talking about things like mannequins, statues, dummies, robots, and even characters in a video game. Yes, you heard that right. Even a video game character can send shivers down the spine of someone with automatonophobia. Intrigued yet? Let's delve deeper into the world of automatonophobia. The fear of these lifelike figures, known as automatonophobia, is more common than you might think. It's not just a simple case of the creeps. Those with this phobia can experience a range of symptoms, both psychological and physical. It can trigger panic attacks, feelings of dread and terror that can be all-consuming. Physically, it can cause nausea, an increased heart rate, or even a full-blown fight-or-flight response. So, what causes automatonophobia? Well, it could be a result of a traumatic experience, for instance, a scary encounter with a mascot or a disturbing movie at a young age. But there's also the uncanny valley effect, the discomfort we feel when something looks almost, but not exactly like a real human. It's a subtle wrongness that can unsettle us to our core. And no, it's not just a quirk or a funny dislike. It's a genuine fear that can have a profound impact on people's lives. So, what can someone do if they find themselves struggling with automatonophobia? Well, it's important to realize that like any other phobia, automatonophobia can be treated and managed. The first step is always acknowledging the fear and seeking professional help. There's no shame in experiencing such a fear, and therapists are trained to be understanding and supportive. One effective treatment option is cognitive behavioral therapy, often shortened to CBT. This approach helps you understand your fear and develop new thought patterns and coping mechanisms. Another option is exposure therapy, where one gradually faces their fear in controlled environments, incrementally reducing its impact over time. In some cases, medication may be recommended. It's usually used in conjunction with therapy, not as a standalone solution. The key point is that you don't have to face automatonophobia alone. There are numerous resources and professionals out there ready to assist. Remember, it's okay to seek help, and with the right support, one can navigate the world of automatonophobia.